Image Blurring How do you blur images? There are various algorithms for blurring images, including, in no particular order, box filters, Gaussian filters, selective filters, and medium filters. So, assume that the representation of an image is a matrix of colors, so for now we can assume RGB. We're interested in modifying the values of the matrix such that the image is blurred. So we can define a kernel, a square matrix of size n, such that when applied to a matrix, it performs some operation. This process is known as convolution. So box filter. So inside a box filter, when performing convolutions, we typically have odd size kernels. We focus the kernel on a target pixel and overlay the kernel on top of the image. So for each overlapping pixel, we multiply the respective index and divide by the sum of total multiplicands overlapping by the kernel. This likely makes no sense, so let's dive into an example. So, we're going to have a kernel, which here is a 3x3 three three matrix. This is the kernel, and then we're going to have our image, which is a series of different pixels. So now we bound ourselves on one axis, so for RGB, this could be, for example, red values. So if you focus on one pixel, this would be the center of the matrix in the kernel, and then this would also be a pixel mapping over to the image. Then we take all the neighboring points and then we overlap this on top. And we get the matrix to the top right. In order to get that matrix, we just simply multiply each respective index. So 3 times 3, 1 times 4, and so on until we get that matrix. Then we perform the summation. So as the numerator, we add up all the different values in the created matrix. As the denominator, we add up all the numbers inside the kernel. And here we get the value of 28.14 value inside here then becomes 28 as just by convention we round down for here so the box kernel for the box filter is all ones so effectively the box filter is a low pass blurring filter which takes the average of the points around it so this is the most basic one and the time complexity of this is o of n r squared where n is the size of image in pixels and r is the width of the kernel some challenges if you're interested, you can actually observe that there can be only two passes of 1D kernels in each axis, horizontal and vertically, reducing the time complexity of O of n r, and also by reusing the sums, we can reduce the complexity to O of n. So Gaussian filters. Gaussian filters work in a similar fashion to the box filters, but with a different kernel. As the name suggests, Gaussian filters leverage the Gaussian function, the normal distribution from statistics. So you might have seen the normal distribution before. Effectively here, we place more emphasis on points that are closer to the center point, while in the other example, we treated them all the same. So here's an example of a Gaussian filter kernel function. You can see the center one is 0 0.22, while the outer ones have significantly less of an impact on the final result. So by applying a Gaussian filter instead of a box filter, we get smoother curves and greater emphasis on the pixel's original value. However, we have that Gaussian filters tend to run slower than the box filters due to lack of optimizations. So selective Gaussian filters. So selective Gaussian blur noise reduction, SBGNR algorithm, is a special low pass filter for applying a convolution in tandem with an edge protection mechanism. The low pass filter is limited or even suppressed when passing through edge features. Hence, it smoothens areas with little to no details and preserves structures slash contrast at the same time. So this works by performing both a Gaussian blur in combination with an edge protection algorithm. The edge protection algorithm applies a positive discrimination. During the filtering, each pixel is assigned a series of neighboring pixels. First, edge protection estimates a significant brightness level for the neighborhood. Next, if it finds a neighboring pixel whose difference from the centralized pixel exceeds the edge protection threshold, then a corrective function is applied to give it more opportunities to survive the low pass. So for bilateral filters, that's another edge preservation algorithm that can be based on a Gaussian distribution. The high level crucial difference is that the weights depend not only on the Euclidean distance between pixels, but also on other factors such as color intensity differences. Here's an example from Wikipedia. If you're interested, you can pause the video. I won't go over into the equation as of today. So for median filters, median filters are another blurring technique often used for removing noise from an image while wanting to preserve edges. The idea is extremely simple. Given an image, just iterate over all pixels and obtain the median value for its set of neighbors for some 2D enclosure. So here's a very cool example of recovering an image using median filters. If you apply median filters, you can fully recover this image as you see here. 
yeah thank you very much for watching